us again see how i got this one amazing and delicious egusi soup so yeah we are going to be needing egusi we call it melon as well pepper crayfish onion and palm oil and also we are going to be needing salt mangi cube we have here fresh meat and fish you can use any one of your choice we need also thyme and bell leaf and also we are going to be blending the crayfish if you like you can blend or not but if you are the type that don't like blending your crayfish make sure you pick out all the dirt inside before making use of it you can see i've finished blending my crayfish so i'm going to blend next my pepper you can smash the pepper if you are the type that don't like seeing pepper in your food you can smash it a little, uh, you can grind it very smooth but for me i'm going to smash it a little bit not that smooth okay so after blending the pepper you have to blend your onion as well but for me i'm not going to allow my onion to be that smooth i'm just blending it a little bit so you can see it just do what i'm doing so after you have finished blending so we have to put our pot and meat on the fire so we start by adding up the onion that we blended earlier add some salt then after adding some salt you had your mangy cube i'm adding it like this because i was unable to break the mangy cube so you had your bare leaf and thyme stir everything together after stirring you cover and allow it to boil for five minutes so guys once you cover, allow to boil for 5 minutes, 5 minutes later, you come back to add some water. You can see I'm adding in some water, the water I, I use in rinsing up my blender. Okay, you cover it and allow it to cook properly. Once your meat, while your meat is on the fire, you have to come and wash your egusi properly. Make sure you pick out, because some of egusi, some of the egusi, they do have um, stones inside. So you have to pick out the dirt inside. You wash it properly, blend, okay? As you finish blending your egusi, you check on your meat on the fire. Now you can see the meat is already cooked. Okay, once your meat is already cooked, you have you transfer you or you put a pot on the fire, a pot with palm oil, allow it to eat a little bit. So once it's eat, then you have your blended egusi inside the oil. You fry it, you turn it, keep on checking on it so that it will not be burning underneath the pot. You keep on stirring it, mixing it together. Okay, check on it. You stir it together, then after stirring it, you add in your mangi cube to give it a taste, okay? So after you must have finished adding up your mangi cube, so the next step you have to do is to start adding up the ingredients which we blended earlier, which is the onion, the pepper, and the crayfish, okay? To give it a good taste and good aroma, okay? So you can see just the way I'm doing it right now. Then you have to stir it together. Then after stirring, you have a, you add some salt to it. Remember, we added some salt in the meat already, so you have to be very conscious of the salt you have to. So once you cook it for some minutes, so it's time for you to add your meat to it. Okay, if you see, I remove my fish because I don't want the fish to scatter inside. It. So after I must have had up the, the goose inside the meat, you mix it together. You can add any vegetable of your choice. Me, I'm adding. Uh, my wash with a leaf to it to garnish it then after adding up your vegetable you cover it a little bit don't cover up then you allow it to cook and dry up some water okay so after some minutes guys i've come to check on it so this is it my soup is almost ready oh god it's going to be yummy yummy wherever you are now start coming with your plate with an eba or rice and until you have now too Oh yeah, 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 come, 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 okay? So you can see, oh my god, how tasty this soup is going to give me today. Ah la 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 la. So guys, I'm adding up my fish already. After that, I have to leave it and allow it to cook. So at the end of it, guys, this is the outcome of my egusi soup. You can see I'm going to enjoy it here with my eba. You can eat it with eba, swallow, only swallow of your choice, or rice. So don't forget to give this a try at home. So before you go guys, remember to drop a like, share, follow or subscribe anywhere you are watching this video from. Thank you and God bless you. See you on my next video. Bye.